after you give birth, they actually make it their life's mission <laughs> to give you food. Like you just stay, you eat, you get fat. This is Fitness Freak, of course, and with me here today is Fit Bad Tommy. <laughs> she's like a fitness expert, weight loss coach, all the goodies, all in one. And she's my big sister. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so today she's going to give us three awesome tips to lose the post. Partum fat. Mm -hmm. Need I mention that this sexy lady over here is a mom of three amazing kids. When it comes to like postpartum fat, she has been there, done that, and she has the experience. Mm -hmm. She coaches to people do the to do the same. So yeah. today she has honored us with her presence mm. on this channel. Even as I'm in her house, <laughs> she came to <laughs> and visit. I her with my presence. <laughs> yeah. Yes. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and. Big Boss Somi's channel links will be in the description. You can do all to subscribe as well, and then I'll link her channel up in the card. So, without any further ado, let's just get right into the video. Big Boss Somi, yeah. When it comes to postpartum fat, I know the struggle. And this is the issue a lot of women face, right? And you are dealing with the changes that come during pregnancy after pregnancy when you are lactating you have to eat for the baby as people say in and in quotes <laughs> then you are stressed out you are probably not getting enough sleep which is in itself is not good for weight loss and you're not having time even when you want to eat healthy or work out you have a newborn baby that has their own demand so it's really not easy it's a lot of work do you work. think there should be like a school for how to be pregnant and give birth and like there's just so that's much is my channel yeah. <laughs> True. information is not going to just, just from the moon you just have to keep researching and being around the right group of people yeah. people that will tell you how to do it just mm -hmm. like i'm doing right now don't just go with the regular flow i'll give you an example i even had three c-section deliveries but i was determined from the start that that regular story of <laughs> the c-section is operation most yeah. times when you see a woman that has given birth and her body her tummy is exceptionally big it's usually oh it's because it's c-section and everybody just accepts it like that i have friends that had c-section and they'll just tell you oh it's because of c-section and they're tummy never bothered because it felt that that was what they had she to live with like no it doesn't have, have to be, be that, like that way i think that should bring us to the, your first point like yes. what is the first thing you think a lady that just puts bed needs to do to make sure that fat doesn't stay okay, so what we haven't said is i'm a physiotherapist right so i have my health background as soon as you give birth just try to get the go ahead from your, from doctor. your doctor the first thing is for you to wrap your belly there has to be some form of pressure. You can't just leave it flying loose that way. So now it's not the regular wrist trainer. She's going to link the picture of the kind of belly wrap that is safe for women okay, that There's a different. special one for women. I feel there's. It's not yeah. like you can't use the regular waist trainer. We just have to be careful. Yeah. Everything in there is still tender. I think that one is a little more invasive. There's a type I use. It's just a wrap. It's firm enough, it gives you that pressure where it's doing some work. Right. I don't really advise you start with the regular waist trainers, no. So it depends on where you're watching this video. Please go to Feedboss NG because we may have stocked it by then because I really want to start sucking that too because it's so important. And this that is, is contrary the first... to what you might hear. Yeah. So take it from her, she's been there and done that. I don't care if it's CS, that wrap is fine because see, Patients after surgery should actually have that support, like some spinal cord injuries. Those you braces, yes. right? To just keep the That's thing. That's what it in, is. It's in, really a brace for your place. tummy. Yes. yes. Okay, so, so how soon? Do you, how soon can this thing be done? Honestly, you can start as soon as the next day after you give birth. You have to listen to your body and know what you are comfortable with. If your doctor has told you, okay, go ahead. Just don't start too tight. See what you're comfortable with, see how long you can wear it for. Just take these words and do it. After your next delivery, try it and you would see that you are going to lose that belly fat five times faster. For than... you, how many months did you have to tie your okay, belly? Okay, for me, belly? I start the next day. When I gave birth to my first child, they actually wrapped me up to protect the incision. Oh, so that was yeah. what happened and i realized that that part that was wrapped up it was even a short span that part that was wrapped up was going down so fast 
So I now took another band and wrapped the upper section and that was it. I said it was a C-section but when I saw how fast my belly was going down, I was putting it on all day. Honestly, it was like magic. I think you mentioned that you were putting it on all round. In yeah, fact, shower. for a C-section, there is this feeling like your inner organs are rattling about and floating. It's a phantom feeling, it's not real, but there's that sensation, it's so uncomfortable. Let me know if you felt like that, if you're giving birth to a C-section. So that even gave me some comfort. I felt like I was together and something was holding me together. So it was doing that for me too. But I was putting it on every day, but you have to listen to your body. Like I said, if you feel like you're feeling pain that you shouldn't be feeling, please desist. Out. Give yourself time to breathe, room to breathe and all that But I was doing it every day, 24-7 I just take it out to eat and take my bath For two months straight For two months take it straight from her, guys By the 6th, 7th week, my tummy was basically gone wow. Okay. All I now Note had to, to do self. was later on <laughs> Note to self <laughs> That is not bad, no, you won't have issues <laughs> When like, I have you Your snap back will be like, like that I don't know of any other thing that will help you as much as that. As that. What's the second tip for losing that postpartum fat after okay. that first one? Your diet. We African, Nigerian, <laughs> we know our Omugwo. Uh, I don't know what they call it in other parts of Nigeria, but Igbo, we call it Omugwo. We know okay. our Omugwo practice. Um, other cultures even call it fattening like it's something you fattening. have to be fattened I think those practices oh, wow. have reduced a little they say that you have to like eat that way to lactate and produce milk for your baby right mm -hmm. while that is true because your baby needs those calories what I advise people to do is while you are lactating take good quantity of food for healthy food you don't have to do all the pounded yams not like you can't take it once in a while but Moderation is key, right? Yeah. There are so many healthy foods too that are actually really good for lactation. People say PAP too. I think PAP yeah. works, yeah. but you just have to... I think to... it helps the milk flow. More. Yes, they say yeah. it helps. But moderation is key. So you take what you need. Breakfast oats that is even healthy. High fiber and Oh my that. god, it's so good for lactation. So you can take a lot of oats. For me, mm -hmm. I don't do the PAP. I do oats instead and it works for me. Even with exclusive breastfeeding with my last two kids. And I take all the high fiber foods I can get. In fact, what people don't talk about that I've seen is so important for lactation is hydration water water, water and more water. water I have a friend that when she comes to see me and I give birth she's amazed at the amount of water I consume and my breast milk is just flowing like that honestly and that's a challenge that some people have you have to be hydrated Do you know even when you think about it when they yeah. say drink pap Yes. Pap is like water. Honestly, because I don't even know if it's the corn that does it or just the fact or that it's liquid. Or just the fact that it's liquid. Trust me, from one mother to the next, you don't have to do all the unhealthy food and say, yes, there are healthy things you can take and the weight will start coming down. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Big Boss so The third tip, of course, is mm -hmm. workout. Woo! <laughs> I mean, naturally, yeah, it's a no brainer, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, you cannot do anything too intense, right? So, what you can do is, and something you can do that is so effective, really effective, it's not even less than other workouts, trust me, is walking. Walking. Simple. That's walking. All. As long as you had a normal delivery, there are no major complications, you can walk. You can walk regular, you can walk while holding your baby, you can take your baby on a stroller and walk outside. The first week after you give birth, you can start from a 10 minute walk or 15 minute work, then you scale it up from there, keep going. Then I this? remember when you just gave birth to Kobe, like yeah. you had this backpack where you put stones inside yeah. to create like that weight. You saw and Kobe zone, but that's what I, saw, I did. That's what I did for all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And then you walk from one room and then walk to the city room, just within the house. Within really. the house, exactly. You lost your postpartum by fat. four months first time and trust oh me goodness. i'm not the slimmest <laughs> oh i'm not the slimmest i wait to link videos pictures of you when yeah. you were pregnant i'll link it i'll be like whoa <laughs> The transformation is crazy, it's guys. Crazy. Yeah, those are the things I do to like get it right back because you really don't want to let it get to a stage, stage where it's now a lot of work no. and it's a year or two later, it's even harder to lose. The and then stage. another baby will now come, ah. in like, but now top it up. You join the matter, you'll be and like, maybe so layer more <laughs> And that's what some people do. They yeah. feel that let me just let finish, me just but trust me, it's going to be harder it's to harder. lose it all then. because when you build the habit of losing the fat after giving 
giving birth from that the knowledge child, alone yeah it keeps that you is going not it you makes you feel, feel better, better. It's not really... if you think you're overwhelmed mm-hmm. by you know the baby and not sleeping enough when you walk when you go and just get fresh air or just do any form of exercise you feel 10 times better yeah. at the end of the workout oh absolutely absolutely <laughs> thank you feel amazing you feel lighter you mm-hmm. feel you have some clarity it's very good so start mm-hmm. small if you have a staircase if you are strong enough maybe by the second week for a normal delivery you can go up and down the stairs just walk don't be in a hurry it doesn't have to be brisk even the regular pace to walk is fine it's too fine. consistency is key mm-hmm. you know and you would see the fat and the weight loss like oh like happen that way that brings us to the bonus points what would that be sleep because it really helps oh my god your body holds on to i think you have a video on that right yes your body holds on to wait your hormones are haywire when you are not sleeping but of course you just give birth it's not always easy to figure it out but just try as best as you can people say sleep while the baby is sleeping from experience it's not always that easy to switch off sometimes you have chores to do when the baby is sleeping so just try as much as you can those were amazing tips guys if you loved what fit boss had to say to us today make sure you go to her channel and so subscribe for more awesome tips to help you live your best fit awesome healthy life right now i'll link her channel in the cards up here and i'll also link them in the description so be sure to subscribe like this video if you got value from it and of course comment below what your biggest you know postpartum fat loss challenge what's your has challenge been. Yes. i know a lot of people get really depressed about the fat I mean, already, and then they're not able to do anything about postpartum it. depression already may be happening on some level it's yeah. natural then mm-hmm. when you think of what you have gained and how you feel you don't feel good you don't mm-hmm. feel sexy but just trying to tell you that you can do something about it and don't just sit around and yeah. feel down and feel bad if you do these things these steps we just mentioned you will see changes and you'll see those changes really fast yeah you will yeah. thank you very much for sticking around to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one or rather i'll see you in the next one. one thanks so much fit boss for giving us this your wisdom i beg don't leave us at all please don't leave I'm us for you <laughs> bye guys all right, bye. <laughs> sleep sleep guys okay. i'm sure some people are like oh my goodness we've already done it now sorry okay said it's there yes we've okay. already done that yeah. <laughs>